Hello and welcome back. I'm Natalie Michelle. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Uh, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and make sure you check out the other videos on my channel. This video is all about my Halloween costume and I'm super excited. You guys get to see sort of my whole process and how much of a struggle it was to make this costume in two days, which I really honestly did to myself. I could have started this costume weeks ago, but for various reasons, I did not. So I, this costume was, again, it was a lot of fun to do, but man, was it stressful. So I can't wait to show you guys the process. What didn't, what wasn't able to get completed during this process, what did get completed, some adjustments I made. So super excited. I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get to it. So the first thing that I did, of course, I uh, took my little fancy draping tape and I draped kind of like the silhouette I wanted on my dress form. I actually have the, um, oops, muslin little thing right here. This is what it looked like um, after I finished draping it and pleating it. Did all my markings and everything. This is what I used to trace onto the paper to create the pattern. Honestly, this was so much fun. I really enjoyed um, doing this little fun drape. It was, I've done pleats before, but I think these are like the best pleats that I've done at this point in time in my life. And they're just, they turned out really good. They turned out so pretty and I'm very quite happy with how they turned out. Um, I did sew, so I sewed in the little, like, in between right here, uh, where it folds. I sewed down a little bit to make sure that the pleats stayed when they were going over my bust. Um, I did that at the bottom as well. At first, I was just gonna do it at the top, but then I figured it won't look right, it won't work well, so I needed to do it at the bottom as well. And the top turned out so good, and I'm so happy with how it turned out. Let me actually go grab it so you guys can kind of see like a little bit of a close up. Again, I made this dress in two days and I was running off of like three hours of sleep while I was making this dress. So it is not my best construction work to say the very least. Again, my top portion actually turned out very well, but I wasn't at that point exhausted. So it turned out very well, but I forgot, very important, I forgot the how to, how, I didn't forget how. I forgot to, even out the bottom portion of my top so when I was sewing it to the skirt it was very uneven and it just it's not very pretty and I'm gonna go back and fix it because this dress is actually it's very like a classic silhouette almost and once I get these few little things fixed about it I will be able to wear this dress anywhere honestly so that's on my to-do list probably will be fixing it within the month and I got other projects to do as well but right now let's focus on the pleats so you can see here that the pleats are sewn at the bottom and at the top you can see there were some mishaps in the sleeves that I did they just didn't turn out as you can tell I have them pinned right now because I need to fix those as well. I need to take it in a little bit in the waist part right here. Just because the sleeves turned out a little bit bigger and gap here than what I wanted, which wasn't a problem at the time because I was wearing a cape. And it's not like super gappy, so I'm not like exposing anything, but it still need to be fixed. Like the waistband, it just, if I zipped it up, here, I'll show you guys. You know what? I'm gonna suck up my pride and show you guys my botched waistband. <laughs> So, yeah, that's it. That's my waistband. It's really, really bad. I was extremely tired when I was piecing this dress together and I just forgot to even it out up here on the front. Um, my waistband for the skirt was even, but I forgot to even it out on the bodice part of my dress and this was the result and I didn't realize it until I had finished sewing the entire thing. If I had realized it while I was sewing the waistband together, I I would have fixed it. <laughs> but I didn't! And so it looks like this really terrible sewing job because it really honestly is. <laughs> this just is not gonna fly and I won't be able to wear this out anymore until I fix these little minor things. 
After I draped the front part, of course, and I had it all um, draped and patterned out, I did the back. The back is super simple. It wasn't super complicated. It was very easy to put together. Once I put together the top, I simply... Oh, my serger broke. Oh my gosh, guys. I was in the middle of serging all these pieces, and I had noticed that my serger was not running properly, and I... I was like, why? I even posted a reel about how much I suck at threading a serger and then came to realize that it wasn't my fault. <laughs> so I checked everything. I checked all my boxes. I re-threaded the machine like three times. I checked the fabric to make sure that it wasn't the fabric causing the difficulty and then noticed that it was actually my tension dial on one of my threads is broken and that is why my machine wasn't working. So if you look closely on my dress, where is it? I have some of it surged in white because white is the only surging fabric I have right now and I really need to get more. The other is surged on my sewing machine using the overlock foot. So it's, okay, that's not surged, that's pinked. One second. There we go. It's surged on my overlock foot on my sewing machine, so it's not as pretty. But it, it got the job done, it works, my fabric isn't... It's not like a super fraying fabric, so it really wasn't an issue, but I was so deeply sad and I need to get that fixed and I still haven't gotten it fixed and it makes me sad. And I think I've said sad too many times in the last 30 seconds, so we're gonna move on. And just so we're clear, this is actually the original sketch for my outfit. It is more Doctor Strange looky likey um, and it didn't turn out exactly like this. Again, I was crunched for time. I didn't have as much freedom with the fabric because I had this like polyester twill curtains that were white that I had was going to recycle for a dress. And I have two panels, rather big, big panels that were used as curtains. So I dyed one of them for the cape and it was supposed to come out this very deep crimson red and it did not turn out red. It would make me so sad. I was, I bought the wrong kind of dye and that's solely on me because I just wasn't paying attention or it just went right over my head. I know that certain dyes don't work with certain fabrics but for some reason, I still bought this dye, not really computing in my mind that it wasn't going to work. And it turned out this really, honestly, it was a very pretty pink, but it was very, very pink and it was not red. So I bought some other dye and it turned out this really mauve brownish pink, mostly because I actually threw in brown dye that I already had because I was trying to save it. And so it turned out this really, I wasn't hating the color. It wasn't the right color, and honestly, for my ab libbed costume of Doctor Strange, I took creative license in the end for the cape, so I really didn't think it turned out that bad. The color, it wasn't exactly what I wanted, but for only having two days, I don't think I did super bad. <laughs> when I was cutting and making the pattern for the cape, I knew in my head that the pattern was not gonna work, and I cut it out anyway because I was in crunch time, and not to my surprise, it didn't work. So I had to cut it off at the shoulders because it just, it was not working. It was too tight. The silhouette was wrong. It just, it would have been a disaster if I kept it like that. So I cut it off at the shoulder and that's how I got that off the shoulder hood because I was like, I really need something. Dr. Strange has like the, the really exaggerated uh, collar and I, ne I needed something. So. What I do, I put on a big cape because other characters in the movie that are the sorcerers, they have hoods. So I thought it was still appropriate and it was really fun to have the hood. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. I really enjoyed wearing this hood. I thought it was super cool and I felt super sorcery. So I really enjoyed it. So I bought these little round magnets that were a little more expensive than what I originally thought they were going to be. But it's Halloween. You know what? I'm gonna go all out and I'm gonna enjoy making my costume even if it doesn't turn out exactly because that's okay. It's Halloween. Not everything's gotta be exact, you know? So, 
I, when I was gluing on the um, little lapel thingies I made onto the cape, I stuck a magnet, I glued a magnet in between the fabric and the lapel, and I used the mag originally I was going to magnetize it to my um, dress. However, when I was in the process of doing that, I realized that because my pleats weren't sewn all the way down, it just wasn't going to work. It would pull my pleats out, basically. So I magnetized it to my uh, necklace, my uh, little eye, my time stone necklace. So it worked out just fine. Let's talk about the skirt next. So the skirt is actually four different panels that I made, and they turned out super easy I've done many skirts so it wasn't super hard for me to get the skirt that I wanted I measured the length I divided my waist into four parts and that's how I got the skirt that I needed it's not a super long skirt it should be uh, knee length it's a little uh, lower than knee length at this point because again I screwed up my waistline so the entire dress was kind of bumped down a little bit longer than what I originally wanted it to be the gloves however whole nother story I'll show you the little clip of me making the gloves. I ended up not wearing the gloves at all. They did not turn out right. I never made gloves before, so I was kind of like winging it, and my winging it just didn't work, and I could have gone back and fixed it. Honestly, if I had more time, I could have fixed the gloves, but I thought I'm in time crunch. I literally have to be done in the next like two hours. I don't have time to worry about making these gloves. I need to finish my cape. So I kind of tossed them aside and was like, it's fine. It's Florida. It's hot anyway. Will I really want to be wearing gloves? Um, one thing about the cape that I really wanted to do and I didn't have time to do, so maybe I'll do it eventually or I'll just save the fabric paint I bought for another project, but I did buy brown and red fabric paint because I was going to do the fancy little checkers and all this fun stuff that he has on his levitation cape, which I didn't have time to do because, again, I chose to do this costume in two days, and which was not probably the best choice, but it was a lot of fun because my friend was here, we were doing our costumes together, so overall, it was a lot of fun and I really enjoyed making it and I hope you guys enjoyed the end results like I did and I hope you guys enjoyed this video um yeah it was a lot of fun making these costumes I you can see I'm not perfect when it comes to sewing I make mistakes and usually my mistakes are caused because I'm extremely tired and I'm not really aware of what I'm doing <laughs> I make it a policy to not sew when I'm tired anymore because I just can't sew when I'm tired. Like my brain just shuts off and I have no idea what I'm doing. Because really this video was just for fun. I really just wanted you guys to see my process, the mistakes that I made, what I could have done better, and having fun with me creating a Halloween costume because honestly that's what it's all about. Of course. I, again, I'm a perfectionist, so I want my sewing to look absolutely perfect all the time. And I have learned since starting my patterning class, construction class, that I still have a lot to learn when it comes to patterning things out. And, but I'm so excited to learn more and to learn with you guys and to share what I've learned with you guys. So I really hope this video kind of does that, but in a really fun, unique way because I put out a lot of serious videos recently that just aren't fun and I was really wanting to do a really fun video so I'm so excited that Halloween came around because this was my fun video showing you guys all the mistakes that I made <laughs> while constructing my Halloween costume and all the things that I kind of had to change or improvise because one my pattern didn't work out or one I didn't or two I didn't have enough time so thank you guys so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up check out the other videos on my channel stay tuned for more fun and informative videos because that's what we're going for this month because I have several outfits that I want to get done and I'll be doing a YouTube video on them maybe not necessarily the whole outfit maybe I'll just focus on an element because I'm gonna be making a jacket for one of them so I was thinking about maybe doing a video for that and then I'm doing like a jumper, so I was thinking about making a video based on how to make a jumper. So really, it's a fun time this month, so stay tuned, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Happy Halloween, even though it's 
been a week since Halloween was here.